hello friends in this tutorial i have tried to explain in a very simple way two music systems that is western and indian like in english language there are 26 alphabets similarly the music language has 12 alphabets for example in western system we call the notes as do re mi fa so la ti in indian music the equivalent notes are named as sa re ga ma pa dha ni these are seven natural notes do re mi fa so la ti that is sa re ga ma pa dha ni these are seven natural notes out of these re mi la and ti can at times become flat which means re ga dha and ni can become komal whereas fa becomes sharp which means mo becomes tivra do and so always remain natural which means sa and po always remain shuddha they never become flat or sharp okay friends now let us try to understand the placement of notes on a keyboard if you look at the keys on a piano or a harmonium or a synthesizer the placement is similar you can differentiate the groups on the keyboard the black notes are grouped in two black three black again two black three black again two black three black and the sequence goes on upwards the first black note among the group of the two black notes is called kali ek the second note in this group of two black notes is kali do and it moves on kali teen kali char and kali panch so you will see the black notes comprises of five notes kali ek kali do kali teen kali char and kali panch now look at the white keys the white key just on the left of kali ek is safed ek now follow the white keys upwards after safed ek comes safed do safed teen safed char safed panch safed che and safed sa so these seven white notes plus the five black notes make a group of 12 notes which are the 12 alphabets of music now let us look at the corresponding western notes and the indian notes c is safed ek d is safed do e is safed teen F is Safed Char, G is Safed Panch, A is Safed Che, and B is Safed Saat. Look at the black keys. C sharp is Kali Ek, D sharp is Kali Do, F sharp is Kali Teen, G sharp is Kali Char, and A sharp is Kali Panch. These corresponding names will never change irrespective of scale change let us now listen to the sound of the komal the tivra and the shuddha swars that is the flat the sharp and the natural note played on c scale which is safed a look at the chart it's played in group of three patches in the first patch you will see c and c sharp c and d d c sharp and c which is sa re komal sa re shuddha Re Shuddha, Re Komal and Sa. Now look at the second group. C, D sharp, C, E, E, D sharp, C which is Sa, G Komal, Sa, G Shuddha, G Shuddha, G Komal and Sa. Sa, Re, Sa, Re, 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 Sa. Oh, my God. 
The same exercise being explained in C sharp scale. Look at the first group. It is C sharp, D, C sharp, D sharp, D sharp, D, C sharp. The second group is C sharp, E, C sharp, F, F, E, C sharp. Now listen to the sound frequencies in this scale. Sa -re, sa -re, re. Friends, this channel is purely a very simplified method of music education for aspiring students who are interested in learning Indian classical music. In case of any doubts or queries, you may write to me at the email address given or talk to me on the phone number given. I will definitely try my level best to address your query.